Today I'm going to show you how you can bling your buckles. So some of you are collecting crystals that you find laying around on the floor at the fesh. It's fun to just put them on buckles for some crazy buckles. Or you can order some kits or you can from us or you can order um, rhinestones and you can bling your own buckles. And we also have these buckle blanks and you can find that at our website irishseams.com. So there's lots of ways to um, bling buckles. I'm going to show you the way we do it and I'll tell you um, some of the little tricks that we use. First you're going to need some E6000 glue, which you can buy in these um, packages here with the little um, tips that can go on if you want. Or we have the small little tubes. These are also good. Today we have the big tubes, so I'm using a syringe to disperse mine, but this is E6000 glue. That's the kind of glue we recommend. You want to do it in a well-ventilated area. That's important. Um, so then you've got your blank buckle, of course, that's critical if you're going to bling a buckle. You need a little wax stick to make it go faster. This is just a toothpick with some dental wax on the top. We have these um, in our kits, you'll get one of these, or you can make it yourself. And then one of our little tips is to use a um, piece of a skewer, just a common skewer from the kitchen. And um, I'm going to show you what we use that tip for. So the first thing is you're going to apply your glue to the crystal. Now I have a piece of plastic down, an old desktop protector on my tabletop because you want to protect your surface. I also have a paper towel handy. You'll need that. And I like to dump my crystals onto a piece of paper. It just makes it easier to dump them into a bag when I'm finished if there's any left. Or if you get... Um, partway finished and you want to stop. So you're going to take the glue and you're going to um, put it only on the, um, let's see how, you, there you can see that now, right? You're going to, I put it on only half of the buckle at a time because otherwise it'll dry too fast. And I apply my glue pretty liberally. I smear it all around. It's going to dry clear. Some people like to just put one dot for each crystal. I find that um, then you tend to have, um, a problem of not putting enough glue to hold the crystal and then it pops off easily. So once you get the glue on there you can leave it for just a minute and it's gonna get a little more tacky. Then these uh, wax picker uppers, crystal picker uppers, you're gonna just stick it on a crystal, see it picks it right up and it sticks it in the glue. And you want to work pretty, not, not necessarily fast like um, you know, you don't have to worry too much, but you don't want to put this down and go answer the front door or the phone because then you're going to have a mess on your hands. If that does happen, if you get distracted or um, pulled away while you're blinging, then um, you could take all that glue off with acetone, which is just common nail polish remover, but you have to have the kind with acetone. So if you see, I'm just sticking them on in a line, and if you use, these are SS30 crystals, which is my favorite size to use because it fills the gaps in pretty well. It doesn't leave, um, doesn't leave a lot of the buckles showing. So, and then I'm going to show you our little tip to make sure they're lined up. And I'm just, you know, working kind of with a little rhythm here. Just pick them up, stick them in. Pretty simple. You're going to do six in a row, and there should be nine columns. So if you use SS30 solid buckles, it's going to take you um, 56 per buckle, which is 100, 108, wait, I've got that wrong. I can't do math and bling at the same time. 54, it's 54, <laughs> nine times... 9 times uh, 6 is 54, and then that's 108 for the pair. So just a little under a, um, under a gross. And so if you saw what I did, I pulled that back. If you're using a syringe, which we also have on our website, it's just a common syringe that you would get from the drugstore. It's, you know, what you use to administer medicine to little kids. Um, you just pull it back a little. That pulls the glue back out of that tip, and that way it'll last for a little while. It won't harden in the tip. And you can let it sit for a couple hours that way. If you put it in a Ziploc, you can sometimes, and it's not too hot out, you can sometimes get it to last overnight. But, and I've got a little bit of um, glue on that one crystal because I dab my tip into it, but I can clean that up when I'm all done. I'll show you. So, how to do that. Again, with just some acetone. 
Okay, so as you can see, I've got enough glue on here that sometimes the whoops, crystals tend to slide a little bit. You can just push them around until that glue hardens. Whoops, picked up too many. It's like like watching paint dry only it's watching glue dry okay so let's get this all on here just a few more oops get that on there Okay, so you can see that my crystals are kind of wonky right now, right? And that's where your um, that's where your skewer comes in. So you want to make sure the first line is good, and then I take a skewer and just line them up like this, and just gently push. Now, see that one's kind of slid over, so I want to slide it up a little bit. Using a skewer gets them all nice and in line. So they're all straight. You can go both directions. Normally you only really need to go horizontally. I mean vertically. Okay, I've got them all straight. Now what I would do normally is sit these in front of a fan to dry when I'm making a bunch of them because that way um, it'll keep them, it'll make them dry faster and I don't have to babysit them as long. But if you don't have a fan to sit them in front or if you just don't want to put them in front of a fan, you just want to keep checking them every now and then because like I said, you've got a good amount of glue on there to make sure that they stay once they are dry. And so you want to make sure they're not sliding. So that's all it is. That's all you have to do. You've got one buckle, now repeat on the other buckle and you'll have yourself a nice pair of buckles. When it's all done, I can't do it right now because the glue is uh, wet and it'll ruin it. You just want to take a little bit of acetone, put it on your paper towel, and just rub over the top. That'll shine it up and get any, see those little dots there where I've smeared a little bit of glue? That'll clean that right up and it won't be enough acetone to um, pull your crystals off. So that's all you do. So go and grab your crystals or go to our website and find the crystal package that you like. We've got some kits that are going to be on there. And you can um, have, make yourself some buckles for when we get back to fetch season.